All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to Maestro Vapes. Today, we are looking at this. Well, actually, we are looking at this part, okay? We're looking at the UD Ega T4 um, dual coil Genesis style atomizer. I shot a video for this the other day. It wasn't really positive. I'm going to use the close up from that video, but uh, I wanted to kind of give this another chance. So I did a couple more builds in this. I tried doing a couple of cotton wick kind of auto dripper setups in this to see how I liked it. I didn't really dig it that much. So I went with the uh, traditional kind of uh, stainless steel mesh dual coil. I got 24 gauge canthal. Looks like it's seven or eight wraps on both sides. It's sub ohm. It comes in at about, I think it's around 0 0.5, 0 0.6 ohms if I remember correctly. It's like 0 0.57 ohms, I believe. And yeah, it vapes. Vapes pretty good. Um, the air, air chamber in this is really small in here, okay? So really, when you got this thing on, it's only to like the bottom knurling ring right here. So it's a really small chamber in there. The airflow comes from the post. There's four holes on the outside here. So it draws air from these holes that come up through the positive post and kind of blow out onto your coils. Um, I was getting really harsh hits off of it. So what I was doing was I try and push my coils down, down because the airflow is actually pretty much at the deck level, like it's really low. So what I was doing was I'd try and smash my coils down so they were right in front of it. And it got a little bit better, but my coils are pretty much sitting on the deck, which is not great. So I set up my coils the way I normally would, brought it up, and it's kind of harsh. And right now I put in like I was vaping like juice that I would kind of vape, you know, here and there. Like not my favorite e-liquid, but maybe my third, fourth favorite kind of stuff. And then I thought maybe that's not fair to it. You know, it's harsh and I wasn't really digging it. And I thought maybe if I put my favorite e-liquid in here right now, it would get better. So let me have a pull and see how that goes. got a lot of throat hit it's got more throat hit than I want it to have because the reduced chamber it's really hot your vape ends up like fiery hot like sometimes I take a pull and I actually have to back off of it and I like a warm vape okay so yeah I, I I'm not so sure about this one like I said we'll go to the close-ups and check it out see what you kind of get um, what I think I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to solder the post holes where the airflow comes through. I'm going to solder those shut and I'm going to figure out exactly where my coils are going to be on the cap once I screw it shut because it is a screw down and I'm going to drill holes into it. So I'm going to kind of use, you know, a little bit of it, but I'm going to go kind of old school, old school agate on it and I'm going to put holes in this cap. I think that's going to be way better, okay? Um, yeah, I kind of dig it. The things I dig about it, it looks really cool. Sorry, I'm going to answer the phone real quick. Okay, sorry about that. I had to get the phone. It was my girlfriend calling. Uh, long story short, it, it was her, you see? And she was asking me to take the recycling and put it outside for the morning, you see? Um, anyway, I kind of forgot what I was talking about. What changes I'm going to make. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill the holes in this uh, in this cap so that they're, you know, it's the old school way. Um, what I do kind of like about it is that you can take this thing apart without taking your build off. I really like that. I think that's a neat concept. Maybe in the next Aga T5, we could still have air holes. Um... Go back to O-rings, I think. Um, but yeah, have this system where you can take it apart without tearing your build off. I think that was a neat concept. Um, one other thing, like I said, it does get hot. It gets really warm. The cap gets warm. 
that heat from the cap transfers through into the brass sheath that is surrounding your uh, your glass tube, your Pyrex tube. That gets really warm. It does look pretty cool. I dig the way this thing looks. I think it looks phenomenal. I have it on my Nemesis right now, and it's a 22 millimeter mod, uh, exactly the same as the uh, Genesis style Addy we have here. So it goes on just like hybrid looking. It's really neat looking. I, I like it, okay? So if it looked the exact same way on the next one, I would dig it. But I do want to go back to the holes. Like, consider me old school. I would like to have those holes on there. But yeah, everything else seems okay. It is an airy draw. If you don't like airy draws, this definitely isn't for you. I like airy draws. I like, like you know, one eighth or three millimeter air holes in all my drippers. And I'm trying to find a tank that kind of simulates the dripping experience, but you don't have to drip. So when you're driving, you don't have to drip. Or when you're out somewhere, you don't have to have your bottle dripping. And I was really hoping that this was going to be it. Unfortunately, it wasn't. Um, yeah, it is what it is. If you have one, if you have a build on it that works really well, let me know. Maybe I'll try it. Um, I did do a lot of cotton kind of auto dripper things. Got the stainless steel mesh. I'm thinking maybe if I try an echo wool sleeve over the mesh, I don't know. Maybe that would make it better. I don't think so. I think it still needs to ventilate a bit. It just will get too warm if you chain vape it a little bit. And I don't mean a lot, like four vapes off of it. It's kind of getting hot. And it's not really that, like the clouds I'm blowing off this aren't really that good either. And they should be, like they should be way better than this. It's the, there's an airflow issue. I don't really dig it. I wouldn't recommend getting one of these if, but yeah, if you, you might like it, like who knows, right? But check it out. We're going to go to the, uh, to the up close, kind of the intimate with the Ega T4. Check it out a little bit. Maybe you like it. Maybe you get yourself one. It's uh cost 30 I paid $34.95 for this uh, from Canvape. That's where I got mine. Um, yeah, recommendations. Probably wouldn't recommend it. If you wanted to get a dripper, or a, sorry, a dripper, a Genesis, I'd probably recommend you know, an RSST -R maybe, maybe try the Aga T4, something like that, if you're going to get into it. Um, so I'll cut to the clip, but I won't close. I'll close now. Um, remember, guys, butt out, vape up, breathe easy, know your limits, vape within it. You'll have yourself a stellar day. I want to thank everybody for subscribing, liking, commenting on the videos. I do these for you guys. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making them. Have a great day, my friends, and a vape on, brothers and brothettes. Weak sauce. All right, so this is a little bit more intimate with the UD Agate 4. And I got to say, UD has really stepped up their game on their packaging. It's, uh, it's not those really crappy boxes that you'd get Igo L's and you know, the Aga T2s and 3s and Igo W's and all that stuff in. It's actually a little bit nicer, but the price is a little bit more expensive on this, so you are paying for your packaging, right? It slides out, nice little gift box. Open it up, it says the Aga T4. It's got a little bit of information about it. And then in the back, it says spare parts kit and manual have been placed behind the gift box. So you flip this thing over, and you've got your little bag of usual suspects. However, there is no manual, but it does come with a little bit of mesh. Looks to be 325 mesh, a little bit of wire, some insulators, O-rings, and a an additional screw in there, which is always handy. I always lose a screw under the couch or need to use another O-ring, so these are great to have. But this is what we're really wanting to look at, right? It's got this little ribbon you yank on it 
and the atomizer comes out of here. Okay, first thing you're going to notice is that it has this little, to me it looks kind of floral. You know, it could be a cross or an X, but with the little round hole here, it looks like a little bit of a flower. And I wasn't sure if I liked it at first, but it looks really good on some of my mods. I'll show it to you on my uh, Nemesis, and it looks just perfect. The same size, 22 mil, so it's really nice, okay? It's uh, stainless steel and brass sections. Looks really good. If you do have mods that are stainless steel and brass, it's going to look really good on those, okay? It's got your inscription here, so it says UD Agate 4. That's noise, that's the same as a lot of other stuff, okay? But there are no air holes in it. No air holes in the top cap, and there you can't pull this apart because it actually threads on now. The threading is pretty smooth on this, okay? And here's your top cap, stainless steel, and it's actually a little bit reduced. Okay, so if you're looking at this, it's not, a, it's not all the way to the top. It actually stops about right here, and then this is all just solid steel where this knurling is and these dimples are. So it's got a very reduced uh, chamber in it, which a lot of people will like. It will give you good flavor if you're into that type of thing, okay? But let's look at this because this has a lot of changes too, okay? So down here at the base, there's these little holes, and this is where your airflow comes into. And those airflow holes are about a millimeter in size. This is a one mil screwdriver. It's fitting in here, so I would say it's one mil. It might be a little bit bigger. So you're looking at four millimeters of air hole in this, okay? And it comes up from these pockets here into the uh, post, and then runs up, whoa, before I throw this, it's actually got little holes in the positive post on either side. So that's where your air comes out of. It's, uh, it's really different, and I don't know exactly if I like it or if I don't like it yet, but that's how it works. You have to run this in a dual coil setup because the way the air holes are, okay? The, uh, the wick holes are very large. They are really nice. They're a little over three mils, a little over one eighth. So for those of you who like that kind of thing, I know I do. I've drilled out my T3. I've drilled out my RRST just to uh, get a little bit more wick through there, better wicking. Um, I like that a lot, okay? So your positive post, there is no little nuts on it anymore. You capture your wire underneath this Phillips screw, which is pretty good. I'd like it to have little holes in the posts here so I could just capture my wire under it, tighten it down, just like an IGO W, you know, like the W3s and 4s, all the Ws have that. And I would really like to see that on a Genesis. That is one thing I would like a lot, okay? So these are your negatives right here. So for this uh, wick hole, this is your negative. For this wick hole, this is your negative. Then your fill hole is right here. Okay, I, for the life of me, couldn't get this thing apart when I got it. Like I could not pull this thing apart. I twisted, I twisted. I thought it was just one solid unit, but I saw somebody else talking about how it has the Pyrex glass in there. So. I did manage to open it up, but I actually had to take these uh, cutters and put them into the holes, into the wick holes, and just twist really hard to get this thing started. Like it seemed like it was Loctited on there, but it did get started and I was able to pull it off. Sorry, I've actually already taken out the, uh, the screw at the, at the uh, base of this and the insulator, okay? Just so that I could get this out of here. Here we go, comes apart, and it has an O-ring. Here's your hole for your airflow that comes up the post. There's also one on the other side, just the same. Nice thing about this is you can have a build in here and take this apart, which, you know, a lot of other previous generations you weren't able to do that with, okay? If you wanted to clean out your tank, 
you would have to, you know, do a new build in here, or you'd have to get a syringe in there and pull out all your juice. This makes it a little bit nicer, okay? Be careful with the Pyrex glass because I already did cut my finger trying to clean it out and wipe it a bit. So it's got this small Pyrex glass. Within here, this is your brass section. There's an O-ring at the bottom. And I'm not sure if you could see this, but down here at the base of this post, there is four air holes here. And that's where it's drawn in from these holes. And that's what gives you your airflow, okay? Pretty simple stuff. And you know what? I got to give it to uh, UD for trying something new. Not sure how this is going to catch on. And right now I'm not sure about it. But for the conclusion of this video, I will have this all dialed in with my opinion, okay?